everybody. Hi, everybody in the bunny world. Um, okay, so I'm doing a little update on Clueless system. It needed to have a little tweaks here and there. So I want to show you before you build it. I don't want you to have to redo this uh, a few times or uh, figure out the problem. <laughs> What's happening? Like this isn't working. Okay, so this works very well. It was working very, very good. And hey, hey was a problem. You see how it clogs it up? Now this was only a couple of hours of hay. Um, they were pulling it out of their hay holders and I was putting hay in for them and it was just clogging everything up. So we went ahead and built these pine boxes. It's fantastic. I've been looking and there's hardly anything that falls. So they can reach in, they can eat, and it's perfect, okay? So I know they have a large amount and they're not gonna run out. Um, because I was constantly make, filling up the uh, the little tray thing that was ridiculous. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Lolita. Lolita. Okay, so um, here I just washed it. So I'm going to show you uh, another video. Whoop, let's get clear here. Okay. So this is the problem. So definitely get these boxes and um, and if you're gonna do the system because you're gonna have a little bit of time of scooping it out and picking it up. Now, if you remember in the first video, okay, I had the drainage system here was in the back, okay? And why it was in the back originally was it was supposed to go outside. But because we built these cages with 24 inches, um, I wanted them to be able to move and stretch. Bugs can, you know, really stretch and have fun. He actually can like jump a little bit, which is great for him, okay? So we wanted it and because I have to reach up and get these guys out, I didn't want it too high. Um, so being so, by the time you do all your angles and everything, it ended up being too low. So if you have cages that are not 24 inches high, so, you know, even if you put them at 20 inches or 22 inches, it saves you a few inches. You can actually put your gutter system in the back and run it outside of your building. And um, so there is absolutely no cleanup, okay? I mean, if this works here, this box works, then it's simply going to be a little, little bit of uh, hay going out with uh, everything else and it shouldn't be a problem. So I'm testing this out again. Now I have my system in the front. I changed it around because I didn't want to reach in the back and try to pull out this long container because my container is long, okay? And I didn't want to have to re keep reaching in the back to try to wiggle it out. So we changed it and we put it this way. Now, another thing that I would change on this system is I would put this here close to the edge. I would figure it out and put this right to the back because what was happening was this was filling up. The water uh, and everything else was coming in through here. We put a drainage hole right here into the bottom, but it still holds hay and stuff. I'd rather it fall onto the floor and me pick it up than having all have to clean this out all the time. Um, I think that is it. Besides that, this system is actually quite amazing. I mean, it's so easy. Um, I love the fact that everything is fast. You know, I come in the morning and I clean up every day and um, I know that they're nice and clean. Hi, Lolita. Hi, baby. And, um, yeah, so... Those are a few little tips that I would change on this system. Okay, this is another great tool. It comes from the dollar store. It is $2, no, my glasses, two fifty, I think. Okay, and um, it's a great little scrubber. It's all fabric and I wash it after every um, cleaning with just water and vinegar, okay? And what I do is I can reach in and I can go ahead and scrape so I don't have to fill up my container all the time with just water. I can 
I got a little bit of hay there. I can scoop it down, okay? So I can go and I can clean everything. And it's that easy. So I love having this space in between here that I can just do that. Now, I mean, yes, it, it works with the water, but I mean, if you want to get any um, extra pee stains or build up, you just scrub and it comes off, okay? So I love this. If you see this at the dollar store, definitely pick it up. It saves you from reaching in and having to get anything that you don't, uh, that you can't reach, right? So, and you wanna get it cleaned up. So, and also, when it is clean, not now, because there it's really dirty, or you can get two, I'm thinking about getting another one, and I can go on the bottom of the cage and scrub any of, see these guys? They fall right off, okay? So I just turn this around and I scrub it, and it comes off, so I don't have to clean every week, I'm cleaning every day, every morning, and it just takes me like two minutes, okay? And same thing, you could put to a vinegar and water, rinse it off and then just take these little guys off and then do your big cleanup when you do your big cleanup, okay? Your little mats and everything. So that's how I'm functioning with this. So I'm cleaning this up to see actually how much hay is going to fall from, from that. And will it make my life a lot easier? I don't know if we can see Rosie. Hey Rosie, hi. They're getting used to me. Um, I'm a new mama, so they're 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 coming around. Lolita loves me. She comes and gives me kisses. Um, they get to play often, uh, so everything is working out fine for me. It just takes time to figure out everything, and so if you're a new beginner, um, I hope these videos actually help you.